Hey guys, it's Drew here at Carter My Eye on YouTube, and today I have the first episode in the DIY washi tape ideas, I guess you, we can call it. Um, throughout the month of October, I'm going to be putting on a lot of videos showing you different ideas of how to use your washi tape and put them to good use in DIY projects, home decor, scrapbooking, really anything. So today on day one, I thought I'd start off with something super simple, and we're just going to create a simple um, washi tape bunting, or a little washi tape banner, if you will. It's really adorable, and it's super simple and easy to create. So I thought we'd start off with that. So to create the uh, washi tape banner, you could also, what I'm actually doing is I'm working on a long one right now, but I'm going to show you guys in a different video. I'm going to create a festive Halloween one, and I'm actually going to hang it up all around my room because me personally, I really like that sort of festive detail um, when the holidays come around. So I'm going to be creating a fun one with the colors of orange and green and sort of fall colors and using some of the fun washi tapes that have like leaves on them. I mean, all that fun stuff. So, um, today I'm just going to show you how to do a simple one with five different washi tapes. Now, um, all the washi tape I'll be using throughout these videos or any washi tape you ever see on my channel is, um, I do have for sale in my shops and I will link them in the down bar below if you want to go ahead and pick up some washi tape and also on my blog, I will put my blog below, I will have the exact washi tapes that I'm using linked to the, um, to the store in case you want an exact one um, of the washi tapes that I'm using. So you're going to need a total of however many tape patterns you'd like to use. I'm going to be using five for my um, washi tape banner today. I have this really fun diagonal teal, um, diagonal teal pattern, a white on black polka dot, this red geometric pattern, this um, like rainbow confetti as I call it, and this is a mint green chevron. I'm not sure if you can see the chevron in there, but there actually is a chevron. So I have five different patterns of washi tape, and I just have a, a piece of string here. It comes from this little roll of, um, like, cording I got at the thrift store actually quite a while ago. I think it was a quarter for this whole roll of cording. And, um, just a little alternative if you do not have any string you like to use. I've actually make, made a couple of bunting or little washi tape banners using the new Tim Holtz paper string, which is just like some paper string, and this is a solid set, and I will this will be linked as well in case you want to pick that up. But to start off this little DIY project, um, you're going to choose the pattern in which you want your washi tape to go. So I want like this, this, I want the polka dots to be separated. So me personally, I want to do something like this. And actually, no, I want to split this once more. So I'm going to do it like that. So these, this is the pattern I want my washi tape to go in. And what I just do is I'm going to set it off to the side and I'm going to take my first piece of tape and just peel off a piece. And I'm going to cut it or I'm just going to rip it at about, oh, three inches or so. And I'm going to lay my string down and I luckily, um, or a good idea is to have a grid bat like mine. And I'm just going to lay my string down and just lay a piece of tape over the top. And don't press firmly, um, just enough to really just hold your string in place while you go on to the next one. And so the next one, I have this red geometric pattern. And just to show you up close, I really like this geometric pattern. Look at this. Really fun. So I'm going to rip off maybe a little bit of a shorter piece this time. I want a variety of lengths. And you're just going to, again, place that down and make sure your string is going through the center of your tape. And you're just going to continue down the line with your different rolls of tape. So I have my black roll here, my black piece, and I want to just cut off, oh, a piece about that long, and just put it down like that. And then I want some of the teal, which is, this is my, one of my favorite washi tapes right now. I really like the, the uh, teal striped pattern. Place it down like this, and lastly is this uh, confetti pattern. Okay, so we have basically, and you're, you're, you would just basically keep continuing down the line um, if you want to create your banner longer, but um, just for the tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you with just these ones, and I'm going to lower the camera down just a tad so you can see a little bit better of what I'm going to be doing here. Okay. So after it's down, what I like to do is I pull up on the end of the string and it starts to lift up your tape. So it's going to start lifting your tape and you're just going to keep pulling up on your string till you have one side free. Pull up, pull up, pull up. And I just fold it, the tape over on top of itself. It's pretty simple. You're just going to align it and just press it flat. So then you're going to have one flag on your little banner. And you're just going to do the same thing. I just pull it up from the side a little bit. Don't pull it too hard because it can rip your tape. 
and then I'm going to fold it over on itself once more. Just make sure that they're even on either side and just press it down. So now you have two banners on your little washi tape flag. So see how simple this is? And once you get going, you'll get um, the hang of it and you'll be able to do it really, really quick. So these are really fun um, like um, DIY decorations if you want to do some fun um i thought it would be fun to do one of these in with the christmas um washi tapes and some like red and green solids and things like that and actually use it as a garland for your tree if you know what i mean because um you know how they have the popcorn garlands for your tree you could create a washi tape garland and i thought that would be just a really fun idea so i'm gonna go ahead again and there we go we have all five banner pieces on our little thingy and lastly, what I would like to do to the banner is just rip the ends to make them even. So I'm just going to take an end and rip, rip, rip. This will make sure, ensure that the ends of our tapes are even. And there we have all of the um, washi tapes on our banner. And that is how to create a simple washi tape um, banner that you could add to a scrapbook page. You could actually add this like directly on top of, of a 4x6 photo to add like some fun interactive embellishment if you'd like to. Or really whatever you'd like to do with your little washi tape flag. So that's the first episode in this DIY series. I know it's pretty simple, but the, um, the next ones are going to be really fun, you guys. So make sure to keep an eye out for those. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe above if you would like to catch more of these washi tape videos and again all the tools and supplies will be linked in the down bar below as well as on my blog thanks so much for watching and i will catch you all next time bye everyone